Greetings, everyone. Looney Farm Guy here with the new mod test for Monday, September the 5th. And this is Water Production Factory by Fusion 2.4 megabytes to download. <clears throat> this is for all platforms. It is 17 slots on console. Now, this is a factory that produces, I'm going to say produces water, converts water from one form into another as you can see here are some of the uh, of its products it's water bottles actually i don't believe i've seen these <clears throat> before in this in this way so that's kind of neat so what does it do well first of all where do we find it productions and factories and uh there it is a water production factory uh, as i said 17 slots it is fifty thousand dollars place it anywhere now, what does it take? Let's look at the production, water production facility. Now, it uh, produces water or water. Now, there's two ways to produce water. <clears throat> uh, well, and then both involve snow. Snow, snow goes in as it uh, as it is by itself, and you get um, 800 liters of water from a thousand liters of snow, which is actually a pretty fantastic ratio because if you've ever melted snow. Um, it's about 10 to 1, so say 10 liters of snow would, no, it probably wouldn't even give you a liter of uh, water, but even that, uh, so at this ratio here, uh, 10, 8 to 10, or 10 to 8 is pretty darn good. Uh, 48 cycles per month on that. Also, it's $50 a day for upkeep. Um, so I have ran it for a month, basically, uh, at, with that, the 1,848 cycles a month. And I got, well, there's 26 in storage and, uh, 26, and these are each a thousand liters. So one, two, three, four, five, six thousand there, 26. And, um, I just trying to test it out here. I've got, uh, 4,800 liters of water in here. So... Let's see, doing some quick math, 26, 36, uh, the, about 35, 30, uh, 40,000 liters, roughly, of water. Now, <clears throat> um, they also, you can have it either spawn in uh, pallets here, and if you do that, um, at least with this tanker, uh, you don't even have to press anything. It just, you drive up close to it and it starts loading it. It's like, you don't press nothing. It's like automatically loading the water. So, um, that's pretty cool. Um, and then it also has, um, it also has a water, uh, output here. If we want to go here, now let's get our help window on. There we go. Uh, start filling. So we can fill what's ever in the capacity as well. This is pretty neat. So two ways to get the water out. And of course, um, there's always the settings within. So we're going to talk about that in a moment. Can we put water in here? No, we can't put water in. Okay, just so you know. So only snow. The also, the also the other, also the other. And there's also one other option for making water, and that is uh, with wood chips. Now, uh, if you notice, the cycles per month goes from 48 to 72, and the production costs actually go down. But um, so you you get production costs go down, speed goes up, uh, but you lose the wood. The wood chips are used up, as it were. So let's turn that on and turn off the other one. Let's. Uh, Let's drain the water out of these. Collect all the water. And uh, there is one other feature that this um, factory has. And uh, because it produces water, actually, we turn that off, we can uh, get, give you an exact amount. Let's, let's. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh let's just drain the tanks first and then it'll stop spawning water how's that 
so here we go we're gonna we're gonna fill up <clears throat> here there we go now it's empty now it shouldn't respawn anymore pallets of course you can turn that on if you want it set it to distribute now if you set it to distribute let's just uh, pick up the rest of these I don't know why this tanker does that, but it drags pallets with it. And <laughs> anyways, so there you go. The tanker, we have drained the water and we got 38,510 liters for going through one sleep uh, at one day months. All right, so we've turned on <clears throat> that. So if we go back into here and we look at here, we can go to storing, selling, or distributing... <laughs> And since uh, it, is no, it has noted that um, it will send water to greenhouses automatically. And so, okay, i got a greenhouse set up here. We'll see how much water goes there. And I also have a lime uh, production, <clears throat> which requires water. And we're going to see if it sends it there as well. So we've got, and then we'll find out how much um, water is produced Um with the wood chips turned on then so we'll see you uh when we sleep after we sleep all right so some interesting results uh but, but before we do that we want i want to uh tell you the capacities here that it says well snow is a million liters of snow wood chips is only hundred thousand where as the description says a million well that's not true it only takes a hundred thousand however water uh, it says a million liters of stored water too, but that's going to be kind of hard to. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to um, test that at this moment. Now, we've set it to distribute, and if we look at our distrib our our greenhouse has fourteen thousand liters, and our lime production got forty three thousand liters of water distributed to it. I never put any in. That is how much. Uh, water got sent there so that's a bit of a not sure if that's because it can't send any more water it sends it in 10,000 liter increments I think that could be it yeah I think that's what it is I think it sends it in 10,000 liter increments and if it's I can't send it 10 uh, so that's why it's stuck at 14 because another 10 would be over its limit same with the lime production so how much do we have well we only have 35 we don't have enough to send. It's not storing any there. So anyways, at least it gives you an idea of what's produced. Uh, 14, 40, 43 and 14, 50, 50, uh, 57, yeah, <clears throat> 57,000 liters there, give or take. Um yeah so yeah it will distribute the water so it's a water distribution but you will have to put snow in it so depending on how much snow you can gather throughout the winter that might be an interesting bit of role play there or whatsoever um one thing i did notice it doesn't give the field information so if i say for instance i'm looking at the, the trailer it says hey there's wood chips in there oh yes um input of product nearly forgot that i got some wood chips we'll throw that in there like so a little awkward with the water fill point uh right there as well but uh there it is goes in like so so there it is uh whoops d d d d wood chips 900 99 yeah so a hundred thousand liters of wood chips uh, maximum capacity there <clears throat> uh, once you put it in you can't take it out unless it gets turned to water just so you know and yeah no field information so you have to actually go into here and see what your capacities are how much is in there what's what's storing instead of looking at it so I that would that would be nice to see 
Uh, other than that, it seems to work very nice. Distribution is very nice to the greenhouse and other factories that require water. So that's the Water Production Factory by Fusion 2.4 megabytes to download and 17 slots on console. I'm Lodi Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So till next time, bye for now.